Yeah, the satellite symposium I was uh, chairing, the, uh, we had, a, let's say, uh, uh, three very important uh, take-home messages from that. The first one is about the migraine and its burden. Uh, if you look at the migraine as a disease, which is a quite complex disease, uh, it affects so many people. We're talking about the 15% of the world population is affected when 1 billion people are affected by migraine. So this huge number of patients, and, uh, and a lot of, of these patients also need uh, a proper acute and preventive medication. So this burden awareness and uh, underdiagnosis and under-treatment of migraine is still a problem. Even after the uh, introduction of the anti-migraine medications many years ago in the beginning of 90s, we still face this problem. So that's why we talk about the burden. Uh, so migraine is, uh, is a prevalent, migraine is costly, and migraine is underfunded. So it's an important message here. Uh, another important message is that when we talk about uh, the new medications, which are targeting the CGRP, the molecule, which is very important in migraine pathophysiology, and we use these preventive drugs, one of the major questions is how and where these drugs work. And uh, this is a quite complex question. And one of the speakers covered, tried to cover this uh, complex uh, aspects of pathophysiology in her lecture. And I think she did it greatly, I mean, wonderfully. And uh, one of the main messages was that uh, since there are very, very large molecules, they are likely to act outside of the blood-brain barrier, meaning that they are not crossing the system and not entering the brain, and they act outside of the brain, which makes uh, migraine more complex again, because now we need to understand where exactly these medications work. We have some ideas, and the current consensus is that they work somewhere in the trigeminovascular system, most likely in the periphery. And the third message was about uh, data, about uh, long-term data, about the efficacy data, uh, showing that the new medications, and in this particular symposium we discussed that one of the medications, that uh, it seems that those medications are safe uh, and quite effective uh, on the long run. We still have some patients not responding. Uh, and, and that's therefore they discontinue. We need to find out why. Uh, and the future will focus, of course, can we predict the efficacy uh, of these new medications uh, on individual basis in, in clinical setting? This is something will be in the future.